morning has been water. The Great American Triathlon is a challenging athletic competition that is as unique as it is fun. Today, they're prepping for their big race, and so we sent Angel Cardenas out to join them in Sacramento with more. Angel, you look dry, but I'm not entirely certain it will remain that way. Don't know, don't know. Got the uh, the shorts wet, you know. Took a spill. If you're just joining <laughs> us, took a little spill in the river. But uh, you know, this is kind of scary because now I have the life jacket on, and which means I might go out a little farther, and I might submerge in the American River. We don't know, Ken. This is Ken McGuire, the director of the Great American Triathlon. It was 45 years in Sacramento as Epi's, mm -hmm. the Great. Tradition continues, but now it's called the Great American Triathlon. Still a lot of fun. Yeah, it's going to be a great time for everybody who comes out. We're really excited about carrying on the tradition and just excited about being on the American River Parkway and enjoying some of the beauty of Sacramento. Now, today is just a practice day. The race is next week, but people can come out and uh, get some tips on kayaking and paddle boarding. Yes, yeah, everybody, we've got different lessons that people can learn. We want everybody to be safe, wear the proper gear, so that everybody has a good experience. Yeah. Now, Ken, let me just. Uh, Tell you a little something here when I do these live shots. Uh, sometimes I'm a poser. Today I'm a total poser. Got the, the race number, the hat. I'm going to go out here and see if I can do a little something with our friend Charlie here. Thank you, Ken. Charlie, you've been a part of this race for quite some time, my friend. So you have some. Years. How many? 41. 41 years. Okay. So the kayak. Tell us about, for, for people who might be doing the race for the first time, some tips on the kayak on the bumpy, choppy American River. Well, you know, I hope, hope here, I'm gonna give you a realistic uh, uh, hope, hopefully, situation here. Hopefully, a little practice, but uh, don't take a real tippy boat down the first time, the first year. Okay. Get a boat that's a little more stable. There's racing boats that are tippy like this one. Just like this. And this is tippy. Other boats that are more stable, a little slower, but getting down there right side up is what's best. Okay, you got your little monitor here, so you can watch, catch up on some uh, some Netflix while you're uh, down the American River. GPS speedometer. Okay. Now, is there a, a kayak I could jump in? Uh, I hope so. Let's see. Anyone? Yeah. Can I just jump in that one there? Probably. You, you want to with, I, probably not without the. Uh, yeah, I need the paddle too. Okay. So my friend Charlie's gonna let me jump in this one. Uh, and you said it's tippy. It's tippy. He says it is, <laughs> it's very tippy. This is like tippy long stocking. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this and hold the microphone at the same time. The I don't know. I don't know. See, so do you see a lot of people tipping over for the first time, or they come out here and they're usually okay? Most of them are okay. We have we have rescue boaters on race day at, at San Juan Rapid to help anybody that flubs get back. Oh yeah, I would need that rescue boater. So yeah, we have a bunch of guys in slalom kayaks and they they pull people out of the current so that don't yeah. hit them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so they uh, yeah. okay. And then get back going again. Yeah. Okay. So you can come out. <laughs> That's it. I tipped over. And I'm getting a round of applause, and I didn't even make it out there. What I was saying was, thank you, thank you. What I was saying was, you could come out here today and practice before the big race tomorrow. And my IFB went out. I can't hear what you're saying. Back to you. Hear you. Thank you, Charlie. Angel, you. I can't handle.